Welcome to our complete 2024 Canada Child Benefits Guide. This vital program will be thoroughly examined today to ensure you have all the information you need to maximize support for your children. Canada's support for families is centered on the Canada Child Benefits CCB. Introduced in 2016, this initiative invests heavily on Canadian children's well-being and family finances. At its essence, the CCB is a tax-free monthly stipend for eligible families to assist in raising children under 18. Its simplicity and progressivity distinguish the CCB from other child benefit systems. The benefit amount depends on each family's income, number of children, and child ages. Tax-free status is crucial to the CCB. This means that all of your income goes to sustaining your children without taxes. A direct investment in your family's future. Who qualifies for the Canada Child Benefit? The following must be met to qualify. The youngster must be under 18 and live with you. Child care and upbringing must be your priority. Canadian residency is required for tax purposes. To qualify, you or your spouse or common law partner must be a Canadian citizen, permanent resident, protected person, temporary resident with a valid permit for the 19th month, or Indigenous person recognized by the Indian Act. Remember that there are exceptions and unusual circumstances. Changes in marital status or shared parenting can influence eligibility and payment amounts. Please let me answer some eligibility questions. Can newcomers to Canada get CCB? Newcomers with the right immigration status and residency can apply for the CCB. What if I'm divorced or separated? The child's primary caregiver receives the CCB. The benefit may be split between parents in shared custody. Can my child's age influence my eligibility? Your child must be under 18, however payouts vary dependent on age, with larger compensation for youngsters under 6. After covering eligibility, let's get to what everyone wants, how much can you get? Maximum yearly payments for the 2024 benefit year, July 2024 to June 2025, are $7,437 per year, $619.75 per month for each eligible kid under $6,275 per year, $522.91 per month for each assessment. These figures are the maximum amounts available, but your actual amount will depend on your family net income, the number of children in your care, their ages, your marital status, and your province or territory of residence. To help individuals in need, the CCB was created. Thus, low-income households receive more benefits. The advantage decreases steadily as family income rises. Examples will explain this. The Johnsons have two children, ages four and seven, and a $30,000 net income. Their projected annual CCB is $13,800. The Singh family has three children, ages 2, 5, and 10, and a $70,000 net income. Their projected annual CCB is $15,000. The Tremblays had one 12-year-old and $120,000 in net income. Their projected annual CCB is $1,800. As shown, family factors affect benefit levels greatly. These are simplified examples, so your benefit may vary. Let's answer a common parent query. How does the CCB compare to international child benefits? Although tax systems, cost of living, and social support structures differ. Canada's child benefit program is widely regarded generous among wealthy nations. In the U.S., the child tax credit gives up to $2,000 per child annually, although it's not a regular payout and requires tax filing. Kid benefit in the UK is PS21.80 per week for the first kid and PS14.45 for each additional child, regardless of income. The maximum family tax benefit in Australia is $5,767.40 per child for Part A and $4,927.85 per family for per family for Part B. Um, while these international comparisons are intriguing, each country's child benefit system is unique due to other social supports and economic variables. Let's examine some important Canada child benefit dates and timelines. The CCB year spans from July to June. Your benefit is dependent on your family's net income from the preceding tax year. Your 2023 tax return will determine your CCB payments for 2024 to 2025. Remember to file your 2023 tax return by April 30th, 2024 to secure continued CB payments. July 2024 is the start of the next benefit year and your CCB amount may alter based on your 2023 tax return and regular CCB payments on the 20th of each month. You must file your taxes on time even if you have no income. If you miss the tax filing date, your CCB payments may stop. How to apply for Canada Child Benefit. Most provinces and territories offer automated benefits applications for the CCB upon registering your child's birth. Use your CRAMI account or submit the RC66 Canada Child Benefits application online or by mail. 
You'll need to enter your name, date of birth, sin, spouse or common law partner's information, child's information, address and direct deposit banking information when applying. Remember to apply only once. You'll automatically be evaluated for the CCB when you file your taxes after that. Let's explore some additional perks and supplements that support Canadian families alongside the CCB. Child Disability Benefit CDB can provide up to $2,915 per year for each disability tax credit eligible child. Other provinces and territories offer child and family benefits that supplement the CB, such as Ontario, Alberta, BC, and Quebec. While not a child benefit, the GSTHST credit can help low-income families with quarterly payments. Working low-income individuals and families, including disabled individuals, receive a refundable tax credit from the Canada Workers Benefit CWB. Note these benefits can considerably boost family support. Make sure you know all your perks from your province or territorial government. Let's answer a crucial question. The CCB affects my taxes how? Fortunately, the Canada Child Benefit is tax-free. This implies you won't pay tax on the amounts you get and don't need to disclose them as income. Be aware that while the CCB isn't taxable, it can affect other taxes and benefits. CCB payments are considered while computing GSTHST and provincial benefits. If you receive social assistance, your CCB payments may impact your eligibility. You may have to reimburse CCB overpayments. If your household income rises dramatically or you don't record changes, this can happen. Always notify the CAR A of any changes in your circumstances to avoid overpayments and ensure you're receiving the right benefits. Let's examine how family changes affect CCB payments. After having a baby, apply for the CCB immediately. Additional payments will be made for the new child. The month after a child turns 18, CCB payments stop and your remaining eligible children will determine your CCB amount. Your CCB can change if you marry, separate, or divorce. Inform the CAR A of these changes as they may affect your family net income and benefit amount. The CCB can be distributed between parents in shared custody. CAR should be notified of custody changes. Moving to a different province or territory can affect your benefit amount because some give extra advantages. Leaving Canada for a long time or moving to Canada can affect your CCB eligibility. These modifications must be reported to the CAR A immediately. Do this via CAR on my account phone or mail. Updating your information ensures you receive the correct benefit amount and prevents overpayments you may have to return. The Canada Child Benefit has several frequently asked questions. Can I get the CCB if my child attends daycare or school full time? Yes, your child's daycare or school attendance doesn't influence CCB eligibility. What if I miss a tax deadline? If you don't file taxes on time, CCB payments may stop. For uninterrupted advantages, file taxes by April 30th each year. Can I get CCB without working? Yes, the weather from job, self-employment, investments, or other sources, it's based on your family net income. How long before CCB payments begin following application? The average CCB application takes 8 to 11 weeks. Retroactive amounts may be paid in a lump sum if authorized. What if my CCB quantity is wrong? If you think your CCB computation is wrong, contact CARA for a review. Gather all necessary evidence to support your case. Other than parents, may the CCB be paid? In some circumstances, if a grandmother or other guardian is a child's primary caregiver, they may qualify for the CCB. If you have particular questions concerning your case, contact CARA directly for the most accurate and current information. Let's talk how to maximize your CCB and assist your family. Remember that your CCB is based on last year's income. Plan for a large income change. A drop in income could mean larger CCB payments next year, while an increase could lower benefits. A registered retirement savings plan RRSP can reduce net income and increase CCB. Please evaluate your overall financial situation before making RRSP contributions for this purpose. Consider income splitting techniques to optimize your family net income for CCB purposes if you're self-employed or have a spouse with a considerably different salary. Keep meticulous records of child-related expenses. These don't influence your CCB but can help with tax credits and deductions. Consider how bonuses and capital gains will affect your CCB when choosing a tax year. For efficient CCB use, consider opening a separate bank account. This might help you track your benefit use and guarantee it's for your kids. Spend your CCB on food, clothing, and health care for your child. Consider investing part of your CCB in a certified education savings plan for a peer child. Create an emergency fund for family emergencies with portion of your CCB. Paying down high interest debt with CCB can enhance your financial health and benefit your family. Remember, every family is different. 
Your circumstances and financial goals will determine how to use your CCB as we conclude our detailed Canada Child Benefit Guide. 